Yo, 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 what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Kuro back with another Dragon Ball Z Kakarot discussion video. Today, I want to talk about Vegeta's special attacks, ultimate attacks, and moves discussion. You guys already know how I get down on these type of videos, but before we get into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also Ultra Instinct those notifications so you won't miss out on the upload. With all that being said, y'all, let's get it. Today I want to talk about Vegeta's special attacks and ultimate attacks and moves. Of course, like I already mentioned, I just want to restate that. So with that being said, here's what we know that's confirmed, like his moves and stuff. Here's what we know that's already confirmed. We know that, you know, his Gallic gun, super Gallic gun, you know what I'm saying, that he used on Goku. A lot of this, a lot of these moves are confirmed and, you know, I'm glad to see that that a lot of his moves are already confirmed and stuff so it's pretty cool but i feel like they could add a bit more to his move set but let me continue with the confirmations real quick you know what i'm saying the dirty fireworks um when he used it at on frenchman i said french <laughs> frieza's henchman his final flash you know that he used on majin buu in the, uh in the majin vegeta gameplay trailer um his big bang attack, um, they showcased it as well in that same trailer as well. And I, if you see, I probably have a screenshot up on screen. They actually have his move set right there up on screen. I put it up on screen. But having already the constructive energy um, blast, I don't know basically what that is. If you've seen that move where Vegeta throws a lot of key blasts at one time, it's on fighters. Uh, I'll probably have it up on screen and they have it on Xenoverse. I'm definitely glad to see it in the game as well. And Final Explosion, our all time favorite. Um, I, that move is so dope and iconic. So, that's what we have that's confirmed in, you know, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, as well as we also, these transformations that's confirmed too, as well. Super Saiyan 2 Majin Vegeta. Um, we haven't seen any other form except this for Majin Vegeta the Super Saiyan 2 but I'm gonna get into what I would like to see and all that but which is coming up right now um moves I would like to see in the game Atomic Blast you know when he used it on semi-perfect cell and he did a similar move with Raccoon that move is just dope final impact you know when he like put towards his fingers and he points them towards you the move is so cold <laughs> He did it on Majin Buu, so I would definitely like to see that in the game. Yo, this move right here, I only seen one game that had this move. Correct me if I'm wrong, it might be in a, a older DBZ game, but Galaxy Breaker. They got this move and Dragon Ball Fighter Z looks so dope. It's basically where he stands still, see throw the opponent up in the air and just shoots a powerful blast straight up. Basically that move when he killed Nappa, he said, I don't have no use if a Saiyan can't move or something along those lines. He just, he might just straight up kill Nappa. I'm like, dang, he, he's supposed to be your partner. He just straight up killed him because he lost as, as well. I don't know. I really like this move too as well. And I would like to see in the game, double Gallic Cannon. It's basically, you know, when he put both his hands to your chest and like he shoot a powerful key blast. It's basically, if you've seen in Xenoverse, it's when he grab you, he put both his hands towards your chest and, you know what I'm saying, blow your guts out. But I would like to see that move in this game too as well. I think it'd be pretty dope. These are a lot of favorites that I like and I think that would be good to see in the game as well. Let me know if you guys will see any other moves with Vegeta that I hadn't mentioned already. Let me know in the comments below. Not a lot of transformations I would like to see because he only had a few and Z, but here's the transformations I would like to see. Of course, Super Saiyan, which I know they're gonna put in the game. Come on, how you gonna have Margin Vegeta without Super Saiyan? But I'm just saying we haven't seen it yet. So I would like to see Super Saiyan and like I mentioned in the previous video what I did on Trunks, uh, I would like to see Super Saiyan second grade, basically the buff Super Saiyan. I think that'd be dope. I think it's actually called, yeah, that's what it's called, but for Vegeta, it's called Super Vegeta. Yo, <laughs> that'd be so hard when you went up against Cell. Uh, the costumes, it's not, yo, they actually added a lot of his costumes in the game already, which is, I think is dope. You know, like it's for his Z. I think that'd be so dope. Here's one costume I would like to see in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, and that's the sand armor. 
Yeah, I know the same armor is in the game, but I'm just saying the alternative version of that costume where it's like orange, green, and kind of navy blue is where he was wearing that costume before he showed up on Earth when it was just him and Napa and they was just straight up killing uh, aliens and stuff. They was eating them. Like, how are you going to eat an alien, my guy? Like, I don't know what they taste like. I don't want to know what they taste like, you know, because I ain't trying to taste it, but I'm just saying it. It must be good because you over there snacking, snacking. <laughs> but another dope concept, another dope thing that I would like to see is um, we get to play as Vegeta before he arrives on Earth. Or, you know what I'm saying, if they wanted to even go more in depth, in depth, we get to play with Vegeta when he was a kid and it was just him. And I feel like that would kind of give Vegeta more of a backstory where he came from and you know, put us in the perspective of Vegeta. So we, we pretty much already know how Vegeta feels, but you know, it kind of add to it. And overall, just make this game unique from all the other different DBZ games. Now, it's a lot of other stuff that I could have added, but you know, a lot of the stuff is not even confirmed in the game as far as like things outside of Dragon Ball Z, you know, like Super, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, you know, all this different type of stuff. Like I would have added some of those things in here, but we're not quite sure um, if those things are added are going to be added into the game i know super won't be added into the game so and i know the movie characters and fusion were born bojack unbound cooler's revenge that won't be added to the game because they confirmed that they would not be adding that to the game so our last hope is dragon ball gt or they probably gonna do some type of original story i don't know yet we're just gonna have to wait and see but uh that's pretty much all i have for you guys um anything else you guys would like to add let me know down below in the comments. Let's start up a conversation because y'all be coming up with some good ideas. Y'all really the MVPs. But, you know, if you haven't already, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like on the video and share the video with your homie so more people can see this video. You know what I'm saying? We can bring more awareness to the Dragon Ball community and stuff about this before they release the games and you know they add out all the moves that we want to add it you know what I'm saying or a lot of it anyway with all that being said y'all I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna instant transmission to my next video 